Number 10 says an, adventure an adventurous archaeologist, a mass of 80.5 kilograms, tries to cross a river by swinging from a vine. The vine is 11 meters long, and his speed at the bottom of the swing is 8.5 meters per second. The archaeologist doesn't know that the vine has a breaking strength of 1,000 newtons. Does he make it safely across the river without falling in? All right, so um, I correctly chose no on this question, and um, I, I'm going to show you how I work the problem. There is going to be no confirmation that the way I work the problem is correct because uh, it, it didn't ask me to plug in a specific number and tell me if I was right or wrong. But I think I'm correct in how I've done this. So we have, I'm going to draw a free body diagram. Um, we have this archaeologist and He's, uh, he, it's talking about at the bottom of the swing. So the vine is, let's draw the vine in green. The vine is straight up and down. And, and then we have, so we have this, um, this is the free body diagram. So we don't have to really necessarily draw the vine. We just have to draw an arrow that there's a, there's a force pulling up on the archaeologist. And then of course we also have gravity pulling down on the archaeologist. And so um, these are the two only two forces pulling. And so the, the force of tension from the vine and the force of of uh, or the force of gravity pulling down. And so does that force do those two forces added together uh, put a tension of more than a thousand newtons on the vine? And so and so the, this force that we have pulling up is actually the centripetal force. So we can actually we can actually write that out as as the velocity squared over the radius and the problem actually gives us the velocity at this point equals 8.5 meters per second and it also gives us how long the vine is which is going to be equal to the radius the vine is 11 meters long so this is meters per second and we could plug that in and find our centripetal acceleration and then find the the basically the centripetal force from that. So 8.5 squared is 72.25. Divide that by 11 and that equals uh, the centripetal acceleration equals 6.57 meters per second squared. And so um, force equals mass times acceleration and so the mass of the archaeologist, it tells us, the mass of the archaeologist was 80.5 80 kilometers. And so, um, not kilometers, kilograms. And so we can multiply 80.5 times 6.75, I mean 5.7. And so we have a force uh, right here, roughly, right here, roughly equal to, to 528 point seven two newtons and then so we also have the so this is five hundred and twenty eight point seven two and then we also have a force pulling down so this would be we'll call that f of y one and we also have a force pulling down uh, that's equal to the the mass eight point or I'm sorry that was the velocity the mass of eighty point five times 9.8 meters per second squared and that equals 788.9 so f of y2 so we, we would call that one a negative we'd call f of y2 is a uh, positive 788.9 and so when we we add up the tension on the vine or actually I, I think I like calling this one positive better not that it matters but on uh, that the bottom the gravity pulling down would be negative and so um, when we at, when we do this, the tension the tension in the rope is going to equal the f of y one minus f of y two. And so let me put that two down here. So that equals so we we got five twenty eight positive five twenty eight minus the negative seven eighty eight. So minus makes it plus plus seven eighty eight. 
and these are in newtons, and so we, we you can already tell that it's going to be greater than 1,000. I don't even have to finish the problem to know that this this is greater than 1,000. And so it, the, the vine's going to break. And that's what I put. That's how I got there, and I could be wrong.